not so much in culture and economics and politics, we're finding it in the church itself. Okay, what I want to do is um, I want to address that in our second episode. Mm -hmm. So we're going to continue this conversation on our second episode. Again, Charlie, thank you, Gwendolyn and Bob. I right, know what I'm going to do is you're going to edit all this part out here, Gwendolyn, okay. but uh, we'll go back and we're going to talk about, um, Charlie. Um, Can I ask a question? Yeah, Bob. If it's dry and boring, our prayer life, to who? Oh, listen to this. Yeah, let's listen to this. Yeah, okay. I mean, is it That's dry and boring to God? Right, right, right. right. Dry and boring. Keep that phrase, Bob. We're going to hit you right up the top. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's that's what it's all about. Yeah. Hey, you know. Listen, let you guys listen to this. He says, since we typically want to pray about the same things almost every day, because we usually don't have the time or creative energy to think either of new directions to go in prayer or different ways to talk to God about our daily concerns, we end up saying the same old things about the same old things. Perhaps we imagine the Lord folding his arms, silently enduring the next installment of our repetitious monologue. Okay. And it's also, you know, and, and Charlie's heard this, there's a, some truth to what he's saying, but he's spinning it the way he wants to. And that, that's why they're using biblical concepts <clears throat> to have that little bit of truth, and most people don't understand. And people don't understand that. What the, because they haven't read the Bible, or if they have read it, they don't understand it, and so. Um, he contradicts himself. It is something that yeah, I want to have on here. A lot of contradiction. Yeah. He does talk about correct hermeneutics. What does that look like? And then he's saying, but that's not what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And. And he goes on to say that his method, this is the best way of knowing the meaning of the Bible or learning how to pray. And, and, and why is he saying that? He's saying the best method to read and know the Bible is this method. Yes. Which he, which say he, that quote again. Okay. Well, what he's, he goes on, you know, this, the good hermeneutics. Then he says, that's not what we're doing here. With what I'm advocating, our primary is activity is prayer, not Bible intake. Bible reading is secondary in this process. And then he goes on to say, this process, this is the best way of knowing the meaning of the Bible. So the Bible in his mind, and, and this author's intent, is to be secondary. Whereas we as Reformed would basically say, we draw our prayer life from the scriptures. Well, no, he's saying that on all other occasions, you would use correct hermeneutics, but not with prayer. Oh, on all other, so in prayer, he's throwing out hermeneutics. It's, yes, but it just so, I mean, it's amazing that his way is the best way of learning the Bible, even though it's not hermeneutics. And, and, and Bob, isn't that familiar with a lot of people in the cults? Yeah, that exactly. they say, my way is the best exactly. way, follow me. Follow me. But, oh, and did you know that Jesus used his method on the cross? His? What? That's what he, that's what the author is claiming? Method. He, Jesus used that on the cross when he was saying in Psalm 22. He was using this method. He's just basically taking something that Jesus said and, and, and making it a fit his idea of a method. Yeah. You know, and again, that method, what is it? The idea of spiritual formation is based on the premise that if we do certain practices, yes. we can be more like Jesus. Right. You know, and if that's not enough, Bob, you brought up a point about in their eyes, prayer is what? Dull and boring. And it's like, to who is it dull and boring to? Yeah, to who is it dull and boring to? Is it dull? And, is he trying to make it say, well, it's dull and boring to us, but what does God say? Exactly. You know, and, and that's, you know, whoever wrote this, he's not God. <laughs> okay. And so he, he shouldn't be the one that's saying it's dull and boring. Because really, who cares what he thinks? It's what God thinks. Well, and if, God says it's dull and boring too. God must be thinking that. It's How does He know that? How does He know what God is thinking? Exactly. <laughs> who, who knows the mind of the Lord that He can give Him counsel? I, the Book of Job is all about that. You know? Yeah. Where were you? Yep. And, and so I have a problem with this concept. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, if, in, in my view, 
if we were praying in kind of a dull and boring method, the Holy Spirit would convict us and say, you need to ratchet up your, your prayer life, big boy. 